Hello everyone, myself Priti Ranjan, a Pravara Researcher Scholar from IIT BHU. Uh, in week 0 session, there is no assignment, so we will uh, study a little bit about this course, Computer Added Drug Design. So what is drug? Drug is any entity that when consumed or inject inside the body, it will control or eradicate the particular disease or infection. It either be a chemical compounds or biological compounds or it can be a synthetic or non-synthetic compounds. So what is drug design? Drug design is an inventive process to find a new molecules or new medication based on the knowledge of biological targets. It can be done either traditionally or computationally. So for drug development, we have to go through these all processes like target identification, heat identification, lead optimizations, preclinical trials, clinical trials, and drug approvals. So how we will do traditionally as well as computationally? So first we will see traditional way. In traditional way, how we will identify the target? So we will identify the target by using molecular approaches. We will go through genomic approaches as well as through proteonomic approaches. So once we will identify the target or validate the target, we will go to identify some heat compound. So heat, what is heat? Heat is basically a chemical compound and we will check their activity against target by using high throughput screening and the compound which we will show the maximum activity against this target that we will take as a lead compound. And then further to increase the activity of that lead compound, we will optimize that lead compound. So once we will get the lead compound, we will go for the preclinical trials where we will check the pharmacokinetic properties of that lead compound. So once we will complete that then we will go for the clinical trial in clinical trial basically we will check the safety efficacy side effects and toxicity of the drug on humans this process basically occurs on multiple phases phase one phase two phase three in phase one we will check the toxicity and side effects of that drug on human in phase two we will check the effect of that drug on infected persons and in phase three we will take the large number of patients or and we will check the effect of that drug on that so after we uh, after we will complete that com uh, processes, then we will go for the approval of that drug that we will do in FDA or CDSCO. So basically, we uh, start this process with million of drugs, and finally we get just one drug. In traditional method, this process usually complete in 10 to 12 hours, and more than one million million dollars get used for the identification of this drug. So to overcome these problems, like to reduce the time and to reduce the cost for the drug development, we go nowadays we are going for computational methods. So how we will design the drug by computational methods? There are multiple software is available by which we can design the drug. So now we will see like how we can complete this all processes computationally. So how we will design, how we will select, uh, do this all processes like target selection, target validations, lead discovery, lead optimization, preclinical test, and clinical test computationally. So first we will see target selections. In target selection, if crystal structure is available, then we will take as such. If crystal structure is not available, then we will go for the reverse docking or modeling. Then we will validate that target by uh, by using multiple software like Rampage, Prosa, and Procheck. So once we will identify the target and validate the target, then we will go to find out some lead compounds. So for that also multiple databases is available like Gene15, PubChem. We will take we will take the ligands from that databases and go for docking. And based on the score, we will select some lead compounds. So once we will select that lead compound, then further we will go for the optimizations of lead compound by multiple methods like a scaffold hopping, quasar, 3D quasars, molecular dynamics, even we can do optimization uh, structurally. Then we will go for the preclinical test. This also we can do uh, uh, computationally using Swiss ADME. It is the software by which we can uh, predict the ADME properties. And then we will go for the clinical trial. So this process we can complete in six months to one hour, year. And this is also cost effective. So now we will see how we will uh, computationally design the drug. There is two methods, a structure-based methods and ligand-based methods. In a structure-based methods, we will uh, design the drug based on the three-dimensional structure of that biological target. So there is two ways, like if crystal structure is available, we will take access that crystal structure of that protein or enzymes from Uniprot or NCBI. 
or we will minimize their energy and use as such. If crystal structure is not available, then we will go for the homology modeling. And here we will make the model based on the homologous structures of the protein. So once we will make the model and validate that models, we will minimize the energy of that model. Then we will go for to find out some lead molecules. So how we will do it? for that? We will uh, take the ligands from different databases and by using docking methods. Docking is a computational method by which we will check the interactions of ligand against 3D structures of the protein and based on the lowest and based on their binding energy, the compound with showing lowest binding energy that we will select as a lead compound. Another method is ligand based drug design method. In this method, we will design the drug based on the ligands. In this method, like some lead ligands are available against the disease. We will take that ligand and try to design or develop or synthesize some compounds similar properties of that ligands. So this also we can do by two methods, Quasar methods and Formigo for mapping. In Quasar methods, basically we check the uh, structure of that molecules, like uh, how many rotatable bonds is there, how many uh, bond acceptor is, hydrogen bond acceptor is there, how many hydrogen bond donor is there, what is the molecular weight of that compounds, how many, uh, what functional group is present, how many functional group is present. So by changing that property, even multiple properties is there by changing that property and we will see the how it's getting, uh, how its biological effect is, how its biological property is getting changed. So based on that, we will identify some lead compounds. Another method is Formico for mapping. In this method, we will change the steric and electronic factors of the ligand. We will change like this so that ligand should strongly get bind to the target and increase the biological activity. So by this all methods, we can identify some lead compound. Then we will go for the Formico kinetic studies. In Formico kinetic studies, if we will find some difficulty or some issue with the drug, then again we will go for the lead optimizations, and then finally we will get some new drug. Thank you.